investors in Uganda access capital at affordable rates. And as a Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, we are leading this. We have been able to deploy over 1.4 trillion shillings through UDB. This money is already with our investors. Some of them are here. We have also invested over a trillion shillings through Uganda Development Corporation to our strategic sectors. We've deployed 890 billion shillings through agricultural credit facility, which is managed by Bank of Uganda through our different supervised finance institution. We have commenced, Your Excellence, another fund called Invite Fund. And this fund is worth $218 million. This is 820 billion shillings beginning this financial year. We are going to give it out to investors who are going to export. We have also deployed 480 billion shillings through a MIOGA fund to our small people doing business in especially urban areas. And Your Excellency, you have allocated so far 2.32 trillion shillings to parish development model. And this money, we have already deployed half of it, and we are going to send the rest of the money this financial year. Your Excellency, you have also, through cabinet, given women, women entrepreneurs in Uganda, a total of 815 billion shillings through the, what we call the GROW project, generating growth opportunities and productivity for women enterprises. And this money, we are beginning to deploy it. And recently, the Uganda Bankers Association had your voice on ensuring that we get patient and uh, more development-oriented capital to the people who are doing business, and they have promised to set aside one trillion shillings for export facility within the region to support those who are going to export in the region. So, Your Excellence, the issue of capital, we are now addressing it comprehensively. Therefore, one of the concerns that came through was that the taxes are so high <clears throat> and they are killing investment. And I would like to submit that maybe what is killing some investment, so making some investors struggle, is lack of sufficient knowledge about the exemptions in the law that they can take advantage. So let me systematically address the cycle of tax administration. When a business is registered with the Uganda Registration Services Bureau, the next requirement is to have a tax identification number. This is to prepare the business for paying taxes as and when the taxes are due. Getting a teen does not equal to paying taxes. And what is expected after you have registered your business, the next step is that you start filing your returns. So for example, you've registered a company and it has not started doing business, you will file what they call a near return. This is just to let Uganda Revenue Authority that, yes, I registered my company, but I have no business as yet. But also, we take cognizant of the fact that businesses take time to mature. So while your business is growing, and it's not yet at a stage of paying income tax, because income tax is a percentage of the profit that you have made, 
you still file a return. And in your return, you show that my expenses were this much, my investment was this much, and therefore I have no profit, and therefore I have no income tax to pay. So what happens when there is a lapse and you do not file a return? Then Uganda Revenue Authority starts to assume that you are actually doing business. And we normally start by sending a reminder, can you file your return? The year has ended. And if you say, you know, if you keep quiet, the next reminder will be, we are going to make an estimate assessment based on the imports you made into the country or any other data that we may have. So this is where complications begin. And at URA we are saying we will as much as possible try to educate you, to sensitize you about your responsibilities and obligations, but feel no pressure to pay taxes to have a direct interface with you, our partners in development. Please, let's clap for him for that. <laughs> the investors have a lot of need for us to explain the issues of taxes. And I know that your vision for the country is that we must focus on indirect tax officers. The issue of corrupted officials. Somebody came and whispered to me, just before you came and said, Minister, if we hadn't at assessment by Uganda Revenue Authority, in order for them to do what the, the customer wants, you have to look for something, what we call key to key dog. Equally, if you want a power connection, again, if you don't do that, you may take one year before you get a connection. Mr. President, this thing has been hurting me. I don't sleep. I am looking for money. I am abused by colleagues that I'm not giving them money. When I give money, people do not use it for the purpose for which it has been given. We shall discuss later on, even in the private meetings. But the question of corruption, Mr. President, is getting the nerves of some of us. It is really very terrible. We really must whip, we must crack, we must track. Those fellows who are doing those things, they should not be in our government. They shouldn't be in our government at all. You are a clean man, I'm a clean man, others also clean men and women. We work so hard. We worked hard to bring this country to where it is now, and people want to, to derail us, to take, our, to, to take our country into wars, unnecessarily. You know, I can quarrel badly, Mr. President, so you'll excuse me. When I get annoyed, I get annoyed. A good meeting, because the investors from outside and from within Uganda get together with the ministers and the public servants. You should therefore be able to bring up all issues and resolve them. What I would like is to guide the Ministry of, of, of uh, Industries. Because you see, all, many of these are under the heading of industry. Amakorero. If the Ministry could 
capture all these people. So that we give them support. Because th these are not very difficult to support. But somehow, like for instance, Mama Bella Wine, I normally meet her on, on a, a show, and then I hand her to my people, because that one I, I wanted to support her directly myself. But they never bring her. So then I, next time I see her is like now. <laughs> <laughs> 